Ernst Waldfried Joseph Wenzel Mach, German, NST Max, the 18th of February 1838 to the 19th of February 1916, was an Austrian physicist and philosopher, noted for his contributions to physics such as study of shock waves. The ratio of one speed to that of sound is named the Mach number in his honor. As a philosopher of science, he was a major influence on logical positivism and American pragmatism. Through his criticism of Newton's theories of space and time, he foreshadowed Einstein's theory of relativity. Biography <inaudible> 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 Ernst Waldfried Joseph Wenzel Mach was born in Kurlis German, Churlitz, Moravia then in the Austrian Empire, now part of Brno in the Czech Republic. His father, who had graduated from Charles University in Prague, acted as tutor to the noble Brethon family in Zelin in eastern Moravia. His grandfather, Wenzel Landhaus, an administrator of the Churlitz estate, was also master builder of the streets there. His activities in that field later influenced the theoretical work of Ernst Mach. Some sources give Max birthplace as Tirani German, Turis, now also part of Brno, the site of the Churlitz Registry Office. It was there that Ernst Mach was baptized by Peregrin Weiss. Mach later became a socialist and an atheist. His theory in life, though, was sometimes compared with Buddhism, namely by Heinrich Gompers who addressed Mach as the Buddha of science, due to the phenomenalist approach of the ego. In his analysis of sensations, up to the age of 14, Mach received his education at home from his parents. He then entered a gymnasium in Kromeras German, Kremsier, where he studied for three years. In 1855 he became a student at the University of Vienna. There he studied physics and for one semester medical physiology, receiving his doctorate in physics in 1860 under Andreas von Eddingshausen with a thesis titled, Über elektrische Ladungen und Induction and his habilitation the following year. His early work focused on the Doppler effect in optics and acoustics. In 1864 he took a job as professor of mathematics at the University of Graz, having turned down the position of a chair in surgery at the University of Salzburg to do so, and in 1866 he was appointed as professor of physics. During that period, Mach continued his work in psychophysics and in sensory perception. In 1867, he took the chair of experimental physics at the Charles University, Prague, where he stayed for 28 years before returning to Vienna. Mach's main contribution to physics involved his description and photographs of spark shock waves and then ballistic shock waves. He described how when a bullet or shell moved faster than the speed of sound, it created a compression of air in front of it. Using Schlieren photography, he and his son Ludwig were able to photograph the shadows of the invisible shock waves. During the early 1890s Ludwig was able to invent an interferometer which allowed for much clearer photographs. But Mach also made many contributions to psychology and physiology, including his anticipation of gestalt phenomena, his discovery of the oblique effect and of Mach bands, an inhibition-influenced type of visual illusion, and especially his discovery of a non-acoustic function of the inner ear which helps control human balance. One of the best known of Mach's ideas is the so-called Mach principle, concerning the physical origin of inertia. This was never written down by Mach, but was given a graphic verbal form, attributed by Philip Frank to Mach himself, as, When the subway jerks, it's the fixed stars that throw you down. Mach also became well known for his philosophy developed in close interplay with his science. Mach defended a type of phenomenalism recognizing only sensations as real. This position seemed incompatible with the view of atoms and molecules as external, mind-independent things. He famously declared, after an 1897 lecture by Ludwig Boltzmann at the Imperial Academy of Science in Vienna, I don't believe that atoms exist. From about 1908 to 1911 Max's reluctance to acknowledge the reality of atoms was criticized by Max Planck as being incompatible with physics. Einstein's 1905 demonstration that the statistical fluctuations of atoms allowed measurement of their existence without direct individuated sensory evidence marked a turning point in the acceptance of atomic theory. Some of Mach's criticisms of Newton's position on space and time influenced Einstein, but later Einstein realized that Mach was basically opposed to Newton's philosophy and concluded that his physical criticism was not sound. In 1898 Mach suffered from cardiac arrest and in 1901 retired from the University of Vienna and was appointed to the upper chamber of the Austrian parliament. 
On leaving Vienna in 1913 he moved to his son's home in Waterstetten, near Munich, where he continued writing and corresponding until his death in 1916, only one day after his 78th birthday. Physics Most of Mach's initial studies in the field of experimental physics concentrated on the interference, diffraction, polarization and refraction of light in different media under external influences. From there followed important explorations in the field of supersonic fluid mechanics. Mach and physicist photographer Peter Sacher presented their paper on this subject in 1887. It correctly describes the sound effects observed during the supersonic motion of a projectile. They deduced and experimentally confirmed the existence of a shock wave of conical shape, with the projectile at the apex. The ratio of the speed of a fluid to the local speed of sound Vp, versus is now called the Mach number. It is a critical parameter in the description of high-speed fluid movement in aerodynamics and hydrodynamics. Mach also contributed to cosmology the hypothesis known as Max principle. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy of science. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Imperio criticism. From 1895 to 1901, Mach held a newly created chair for the History and Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences", at the University of Vienna. In his Historica Philosophical Studies, Mach developed a phenomenalistic philosophy of science which became influential in the 19th and 20th centuries. He originally saw scientific laws as summaries of experimental events, constructed for the purpose of making complex data comprehensible, but later emphasized mathematical functions as a more useful way to describe sensory appearances. Thus scientific laws while somewhat idealized have more to do with describing sensations than with reality as it exists beyond sensations. Max positivism also influenced many Russian Marxists, such as Alexander Bogdanov 1873 In 1908, Lenin wrote a philosophical work, Materialism and Imperio Criticism published 1909, in which he criticized Machism and the views of Russian Machists. Lenin also cited in this work the concept of the ether, as the medium through which light waves propagated, and the concept of time as an absolute. Imperio criticism is the term for the rigorously positivist and radically empirical philosophy established by the German philosopher Richard Avenarius and further developed by Mach, which claims that all we can know is our sensations and that knowledge should be confined to pure experience. In accordance with imperio critical philosophy, Mach opposed Ludwig Boltzmann and others who proposed an atomic theory of physics. Since one cannot observe things as small as atoms directly, and since no atomic model at the time was consistent, the atomic hypothesis seemed to Mach to be unwarranted, and perhaps not sufficiently economical. Mach had a direct influence on the Vienna Circle philosophers and the school of logical positivism in general. To Mach are attributed a number of principles that distill his ideal of physical theorization what is now called Machian physics. It should be based entirely on directly observable phenomena in line with his positivistic leanings. It should completely eschew absolute space and time in favor of relative motion. Any phenomena that would seem attributable to absolute space and time e.g., inertia and centrifugal force should instead be seen as emerging from the large-scale distribution of matter in the universe. The last is singled out, particularly by Albert Einstein, as the Max Principle. Einstein cited it as one of the three principles underlying general relativity. In 1930, he stated that, "...it is justified to consider Mach as the precursor of the general theory of relativity," though Mach, before his death, would apparently reject Einstein's theory. Einstein was aware that his theories did not fulfill all Mach's principles, and no subsequent theory has either, despite considerable effort. Phenomenological constructivism According to Alexander Riegler, Ernst Mach's work was a precursor to the influential perspective known as constructivism. Constructivism holds that all knowledge is constructed rather than received by the learner. He took an exceptionally non-dualist, phenomenological position. The founder of radical constructivism, von Glasersfeld, gave a nod to Mach as an ally. Physiology 
In 1873, independently of each other Mach and the physiologist and physician Joseph Brewer discovered how the sense of balance i.e., the perception of the head's imbalance functions, tracing its management by information which the brain receives from the movement of a fluid in the semicircular canals of the inner ear. That the sense of balance depended on the three semicircular canals was discovered in 1870 by the physiologist Friedrich Goltz, but Goltz did not discover how the balance sensing apparatus functioned. Mach devised a swivel chair to enable him to test his theories, and Floyd Ratliff has suggested that this experiment may have paved the way to Mach's critique of a physical conception of absolute space and motion. Topic: Psychology. In the area of sensory perception, psychologists remember Mach for the optical illusion called Mach bands. The effect exaggerates the contrast between edges of the slightly differing shades of gray, as soon as they contact one another, by triggering edge detection in the human visual system, more clearly than anyone before or since Mach made the distinction between what he called physiological specifically visual and geometrical spaces. Mach's views on mediating structures inspired B. F. Skinner's strongly inductive position, which paralleled Mach's in the field of psychology. Eponyms. In homage his name was given to Mach, a lunar crater Mach bands, an optical illusion 3949 Mach, an asteroid Mach number, the unit for speed relative to the speed of sound Mach's principle works in English The Science of Mechanics 1883. The Analysis of Sensations 1897 Popular Scientific Lectures 1895 Space and Geometry from the Point of View of Physical Inquiry October 1903 In the Monist Volume 14 No I History and Root of the Principle of the Conservation of Energy 1911 The Principles of Physical Optics 1926 Knowledge and Error 1976 Principles of the Theory of Heat 1986 Fundamentals of the Theory of Movement Perception 2001 Topic See also Mach disk Mach bands Max principle Mach reflection Mach zender interferometer Visual space Woodward effect Topic. References Topic. Further reading Eric C. Banks, Ernst Max World Elements. A Study in Natural Philosophy. Dordrecht, Kluwer now Springer, 2013. John T. Blackmore, Ernst Mach. His Life, Work, and Influence. Berkeley and Los Angeles, University of California Press, 1972. John Blackmore and Klaus Henschel, eds. Ernst Mach ALS Auenseiter. Vienna, Braumüller, 1985, with select correspondence. John T. Blackmore, ed. Ernst Mach, A Deeper Look. Documents and New Perspectives. Dordrecht, Springer, 1992. John T. Blackmore, Ryoichi Itaaki and Setsuko Tanaka, eds. Ernst Max Vienna 1895-1930. Or Phenomenalism as Philosophy of Science. Dordrecht, Springer, 2001. John T. Blackmore, Ryoichi Itaaki and Setsuko Tanaka, eds. Ernst Max Science. Kanagawa, Tokai University Press, 2006. John T. Blackmore, Ryoichi Itaaki and Setsuko Tanaka, Ernst Max Influence Spreads. Bethesda, Sentinel Open Press, 2009. John T. Blackmore, Ryoichi Itaaki and Setsuko Tanaka, Ernst Max Graz where much science and philosophy were developed. Bethesda, Sentinel Open Press, 2010. John T. Blackmore, Ernst Max Prague 1867-1895 as a human adventure, Bethesda, Sentinel Open Press, 2010. William Everdell, The First Moderns. Profiles in the Origins of Twentieth-Century Thought. Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 1997. 
Rudolf Haller and Friedrich Stadler eds. Ernst Mach, Work und Working. Vienna, Hoder Pickler Temsky, 1988. Klaus Henschel, on Paul Feyerabend's version of Max Theory of Research and its Relation to Albert Einstein. Studies in History and Philosophy of Science 16 1985, 387–394. Klaus Henschel. Die Korrespondenz duhem Mach, zur Modellbeladenheit von Wissenschaftsgeschichte. Annals of Science 45 1988, 73–91 with their complete correspondence. Klaus Henschel. Ernst Mach. In Arne Hessenbrick ed. Reader's Guide to the History of Science. London, Routledge, 2013, p. 427 f. D. Hoffmann and H. Leitko, eds. Ernst Mach, Studien und Dokumente. Berlin, 1991. Joseph J. Kockelmans, Philosophy of Science. The Historical Background. New York, The Free Press, 1968. Yuri Prohaska, Ernst Mach, 1838-1916, Genealogy, 3 vols. Berno, 2007-2010. ISBN 80-903476-3-0-80-903476-7-3-978-80-903476-0-1. V. Prosser and J. Folta, eds. Ernst Mach and the Development of Physics, Conference Papers, Prague, Universitas Carolina Pragensis, 1991. Joachim Thiele, Wissenschaftliche Kommunikation, die Korrespondenz Ernst Mox, Castellan, Hain, 1978 with select correspondence. External links Ernst Mach bibliography of all of his papers and books from 1860 to 1916, compiled by Vienna lecturer Dr. Peter Marr in 2016. Various Ernst Mach links, compiled by Greg C. Elvers Klaus Henschel, Mach, Ernst, in, Neue Deutsche Biographie 15 pp. 605–609. Works by Ernst Mach at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Ernst Mach at Internet Archive Works by Ernst Mach at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks Podgman, Paul. Ernst Mach. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Short biography and bibliography in the Virtual Laboratory of the Max Planck Institute for the History of Science Vladimir Lenin, Materialism and Imperio Criticism Ernst Mach, The Analysis of Sensations 1897, Translation of Beatrice zur Analyse der Empfindungen 1886, Ernst Mach at the Mathematics Genealogy Project the Critical Positivism of Mach and Avenarius. Entry in the Britannica Online Encyclopedia. From Galileo's Law of Inertia to Einstein's and Mach's Conjecture Principle of Inertia. <laughs>